there guys, it's Kim. Welcome back to another Animal Crossing Island tour. Today we are going to be touring the island of Rune, which is a cozy natural village with rustic touches. And as always, I will have the creator's Instagram and the dream address in the description below. So let's check out her map. Okay, so here's her house. And looks like she has a tent too, so that'll be cool. And her villagers are Kiki, Eric, Dobie, Cole, Dina, Marshall, Spork, <laughs> Grizzly, Blair, and Molly. All right, so she's done a lot of terraforming on this island, a lot of waterscaping. So I'm really excited. And her map, or her map, gosh, not her map, her flag is super cute. I love her flag. Okay, let's get started. All right, so here's her entrance, which right off the bat is absolutely beautiful. I love this path that she has. And she has a lot of really um, sweet touches like the dropped acorns and the pine cones and the little pumpkins here and there. Rain boots, everything is just absolutely beautiful. And these planks are really cute too. Okay, so we are gonna make our way to resident services first. She's so cute. Okay, this is adorable. This whole area, I'm already like in love with this island. It's so pretty. All right, are we going the right way to go to resident services? Yeah, okay, just checking. Okay, there we go. Okay, we made it. Oh, I'm sitting on something. <laughs> okay, here we are. All right, so she said that she had presents. So yeah, let's see what we have. So cute. All right, let's see what we have. Let's open everything. Ooh. This is so cute. I'm excited. Oh, bubble blowers. That's adorable. Okay. All right. We're putting everything on. Those pants are cute. Oh, that's adorable. I love it. Look, I match the island now. Yay. Okay. So here's her resident services. Oh, are there more presents here? Let's see what we got. Oh, a pinwheel. And a yellow balloon. Well, I'm gonna hold the pinwheel because it is adorable. <laughs> okay. All right, so now we're ready to explore the island. And I love this flower garden. So cute. All right, so we came from, I don't even remember which way we came. This way, we came from this way. Yes, yes, I think we did, okay. All right, so here we have a little camping area, and I don't see those brown tents being used very often, but I love it here. The brown is really pretty. I love everything about this area. I love all of the reds and the browns and the oranges, everything just, <laughs> she, she is checking me out. Everything just matches so well. Okay, let's go this way. Cause I kind of skipped over a lot of this just trying to make my way to resident services. So now we will head, ooh, here we have her able sisters. There we are, very pretty. I love all the waterfalls around it. Okay, and let's go ahead and go on up 
nooks and crannies since it's right here too. Oh, this is really cute. Yeah, this looks really nice. So cute, she has like a little farm right here. That's adorable. Oh, that simple panel with the apples is really nice. All right, so let's keep going this way. So we've made our way into a villager yard and it looks so good. I love the planks right here and the books and the barrels and the barbed wire. I love everything. And we have a little beach area here. All right, we have that mom's cake that's been customized. Super cute. All right, let's see if we missed anything this way. No, okay. All right, so let's keep going this way now. I love the pops of yellow over here with the tulip and the sock and the rain boots. And these little pumpkins everywhere are just so sweet. All right, so we have another little villager yard. They have their own farm right here. And then she has the trees where she stunted them, and that is so smart. It just gives such a natural look instead of having all the trees the same height. Oh, this is pretty. Very nice. Oh, the gnome is so cute. All right, so here we have her pumpkin patch. And I like how she she's used um, the mum cushions <laughs> and weeds and everything just to give it a really, um, you know, natural look other than just having all the pumpkins laid out. And then we have another yard here. Oh, this is cute. I like the ducks. <laughs> oh, and she has the seaweed. Oh, very nice. I like this. This looks so good. And then going on to the beach here. We have some more of the tents and it's just a really overgrown feel on the beach with the weeds and we have the stones and we have a little dining area. It's really pretty. I like how she used all the different cushions and the mum cushions and the leaf stools. Everything looks so nice. And that blanket coat is really pretty. Oh, and there she is. Oh, cute, a little play area. Oh, she's cute. There we go. Well, what? Oh, I'm blow <laughs> I was blowing the pinwheel. I'm like, what is happening? Oh, that's really cute. And then her pier here. Very pretty. I love all of the yellows. All right, let's keep going. We have a lot of these really pretty butterfly models everywhere. I love the butterfly models on the beach. Oh, cute little teddy bear. Let me make our way over here to a cute little yellow bathtub with the life preserver and the rain boots. Everything matches so well. And we'll just keep going, why not? We have a little beehive area. Come to a little fire pit area on the beach. Oh, this is cute. So, yeah, there's her museum right there. I like this. This is like a little classroom area for blathers. This is really nice. I like how she used this big rock for this. What a good idea. Oh, and she used that pop-up book. 
How smart. That is really, really cute. <laughs> and then we have the little toys right here. Okay, so while we're here, let's go to the museum. Oh, the amber looks really pretty. Just really matches everything with the yellow. She has the yellow painting here. Oh, she has the ant. If you didn't know, when you put the ant down, that's what his cage looks like. It's just a little glass sitting on paper. It's really cute. Her museum entrance is so pretty. Well, you can't really see it that way, but you can see it this way. Yeah, looks really, really nice. Okay, so let's head up here. <laughs> I think I'm going backwards. That's fine. That's fine. This is pretty. Ooh, I like this. Look, it is her movies in the park area. Oh, this is really pretty. Oh, cute. She has a... Is that a... Is that a Taylor's ticket or is that a ticket from Sahara? I can't remember. Anyway, she has the ticket on that long bench over there. That's really, really cute. What a nice detail. And then the guitar and then like a little kid area with the kid tent and the teddy bear. This is really, really cute. And I'm gonna go, oh, I wanna go to the left. All right, so here we have, oh, cute. So I'm looking at her custom map, which by the way, her custom map that she has on her Instagram is incredible. You need to go check it out. Yeah, really cute. So she has the clay furnace here, the tea kettle. Looks really good. And then I don't think there's anything on that cliff, really, to take a look at. Okay, so let's talk about this land bridge because this is amazing. Look at this. She's used the gel bars as the rails, and then she has her dirt paths going across with the custom paths on top of them, and that is so, so smart. And then she has weeds and piles of leaves. It is so, so nice. This is so good. That is a really beautiful land Okay. All right, so here's Grizzly's house. He just has like a real manly looking yard here. Chopping some wood, little firewood here, or fire, very nice. And little side yard here, more wood of course, and barrels. And let's head on down here. over here I can't remember oh yeah okay we've been over here so we'll go back this way this little collection of items right here is so pretty with the public bench and then she has the barrels and then she has the I think that's called an oil barrel maybe that rusty one and then the cushions and the mushrooms, everything looks so good together. And look at this tiny little tree stump, how cute. That's really, really cute. Okay. Let's go this way. Oh, like a little music area. We're just gonna sit over here by the fire, play the guitar. Okay, let's go up here. There we go. Oh, this is cool. I like this, just like a little collection of bugs. And there's those ants again with the cups. Those are so cute, I can't get over those. This is really cute. She has the little table with the book about the butterflies, with the actual butterflies next to it. This is really nice. Let's go, let's 
go this way. Ooh, I like this. Oh, I like how she has the wheelchair. And then she has all the different seating. Another little tiny stump, which is so cute. I guess you can't sit on those. I kind of want to be able to sit on that little tiny stump. Oh well, that's fine. Okay. Okay, here's her campsite. Oh. No, we weren't over here before. I don't know. Oh, this is cute. What a nice campsite. It's really pretty. Alright, let's go this way. Ooh, look, I'm following the direction of the arrows this time, so yay for me. Looks like we have a little apple orchard. It looks really good with all these buckets and the barrels, and that sign is really pretty. And we have her rock garden. Very pretty. All right, we went all the way to the end. Yeah, let's go this way. And down. Okay, we, were we over here? No, we haven't been over here. Well, this is cute. I love the sitting area or dining area with the cutting board and the cornucopia. The teddy bears everywhere are so sweet. Oops, there we go. Oh, I love this. Okay. This is really cute. So this reminds me of a, like a corn filled with the yellow hyacinths. Just reminds me of the corn. And then over here, let's go this way. Over here, look, we have a little horse stable. That is so cute. So she has the barn behind them. And then she has the fencing around them. That is so cute. I love the horses. That's adorable. Oh, that's a bad view. That is so cute. And then we have a little beach area. Oh, laundry on the beach rocks. One of my favorite things. Oh, this is a cute little hangout area. I like it. Really pretty. I like how she is the festival garland behind this. It looks really good. Very colorful. Okay, so. That horse stable though, that is so cute. All right, let's go this way. resident services. Oh, look, she has a little pennant in the ground. Oh yeah, that was her other character right here with the tent. That is so cute. So she has the tent and then she has uh, just like a bug collection, maybe like a little research area or something. It's really cute. And on the boxes, I love that. There we go. Okay, let's head up here. Oh, the collection on the right too, with the firewood and the books. Everything looks so well done together. Oh, the tiny library is the cutest. Oh, cute, hello. I'm blowing that pinwheel again. <laughs> there we go. Currently exploring. Oh, that's cute. 
Okay. So let's go this way. Here we go. Oh, a little bee farm. Let's take another picture. That's a really pretty bee farm. Oh, I like the net set up over here. That's cute. Looks really good. Oh, how pretty. I love that. I love the exterior of her house. So let's go take a look. love it. It looks just like her island. Like the whole feeling of the interior of her house is just like the rest of her island. Just really cozy and natural. I love the wallpaper that she chose. I love the coat on the tablecloth and the cushions. Everything it looks so good. And then we still have those touches of rustic like the wood stove over here and the firewood and the hay bed. Good. All right, so let's go check out this room. Oh, we have her kitchen. Really pretty. I, I like this wallpaper. I don't ever see this wallpaper. Very nice. Very rustic. I love the colors. All the yellows and the oranges. And we have the log table. Cornucopia. That's really smart to put that in here really good in here oh and I like how she customized that fridge with the paw prints looks really cute all right so let's check out this back room oh we have her bathroom very cute I love the rug choice and the fish on the wall. It's really cute. And she has the screen dividing her bathtub over here and she has the water code under the bathtub. That's really smart. And then she has the wooden chest with the bear that matches it. Oh, and then she has, we'll go this way, and then she has another wooden chest over here. Yeah, that's really cute. Oh, she has double sinks the two iron wall lamps up there. Looks really good. All right, so let's check out this room to the right. Oh, a dining room. I like it. So she's used the same wallpaper as the other room and she has the two log tables pushed together. I love her mixed seating again. It looks really good. She has that the fireplace from Turkey Day. Looks really, really good. I love it. Okay, so let's go upstairs. And here we have her bedroom again. She's used the same wallpaper. She has the same yellow and green throughout and the brown. I like her sweaters that she has hanging up on the wall. And then she has the two wooden chests. Oh, this is nice. There's a little wall with bookshelves, like a little library wall. And then over here, I can get, yeah, I can get over here. Over here, she has the rocking chair fireplace with a stack of books. Just a really cozy bedroom. Okay, so let's go downstairs now. Ooh, so down here it's definitely a basement workshop feel. So we have, um, well first off it's really dark, which is pretty cool. And then we have her workbench. And it's like we just have a bunch of storage. So boxes and like winter sleds. 
Um, there's a periodic table over there on the wall, the pool shelf, a bike, just everything that you would imagine you would just have stuffed down into your basement. It's here. <laughs> I love it. Okay guys, so let's see if there's anything that I missed. Quite possibly I've missed something. Hello. <laughs> so nervous. All right, so here is the apple. No, it's not, yeah. Okay, I know where we are. Yeah, we're here at the airport. Let's go this way. Cause I don't think I, oh, we have a pottery area. Yeah, we definitely didn't see this earlier. I love a good pottery area. This is nice, right on the beach. And then again, just a little writing area here. Looks really good. And then, okay. Ooh, yeah, we didn't, okay. We didn't go all the way down this area. Well, this is nice. Marshall's little house on the beach here with looks like this could be a little strawberry farm maybe or just a little overgrown area utility sink and then we have the beach towels on the oh this is pretty here let's go around here there we go this is a really pretty area I love this such a simple way to decorate this peninsula area, but it's so beautiful. And then this, we make our way over here back to the tent. So I think possibly we've seen everything. Okay, so we did not see her secret beach, so let's go check that out. And I like her little narrow pathway through here right over here to her secret beach. Very cute. All right, guys, so I think we have covered maybe most of the island, if not all of it. There's a lot of really cute tucked away areas, so we might have missed a few here or there. But thank you guys so much for visiting Rune Island with me today. And thank you so much to Tabia for allowing me to tour her island on my channel. As always, the dream address is in the description as well as her Instagram. And if you haven't already, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more Animal Crossing videos. I'll see you guys later.